Hello Capricorn and welcome to my channel Tarot by Gabrielle. This is going to be a general reading for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placements looking at your recent past, your current energy and your immediate future. Answering the question, what do you need to know right now in order to move forward in alignment with your higher self? Friendly reminder that these are general readings. They are not here to resonate fully for everyone and they won't resonate fully for everyone. So do please remember to take what does resonate and helps your personal situation and leave what does not. Last thing is that any information on the extended reading or on booking a personal reading or coaching session with me is in the description box below. All right, Capricorn, let's jump on in here. Right now, it's like almost dark. It's the middle of the day, but it's almost dark outside because we're in the middle of um, some pretty rough storms where I live. And actually this morning we were dealing with tornado warnings and had to take cover there for a second, but we're good as of right now. Um, so hopefully that stays that way throughout um, the rest of the day. All right, let's start Capricorn looking at this recent past energy. Your commitment is being tested. Now, it doesn't really mean what I feel like it can come across as because it's not like you're being tested this is a pass or fail kind of thing um you know a lot of times when we're closing out old cycles things get really really hard right before we start a new cycle so usually when we're looking for a situation when we're looking for some sort of um like solution or outcome or to get to the next phase in our life yeah um, it gets a little bit more challenging to commit to new behaviors and new habits and breaking old patterns and old um, cycles as we approach the ending of it. Um, I, I always kind of say that the closer you get to the end of a cycle, the harder the devil seems to attack. It just kind of feels like during those moments, there's a little bit more fear and anxiety about the unknown. Frustrations come out. Limiting beliefs start to arise. And I feel like, I mean, these two cards you have conclusions are within reach and you're very close to achieving your goal. So that's kind of exactly what I feel like you've been dealing with is closing out an old cycle, but feeling maybe really, really frustrated about the fact that it feels like it just won't close or that things aren't improving. Um, I feel like, you know, if there's anything that I've learned, it's that things get hard. It's, it really is darkest before dawn. Like it feels like things get hard and even more hard, like right before things are about to get better. And I think that that's why a lot of people do tend to give up like right before good things happen is because you really are, it's like that commitment to a new path or to a new version of you or to a new life or whatever the case is really, really gets tested. Now I don't look at it as the universe going, what are you gonna do? Is it a pass or fail? I feel like what I've come to understand it as is the, you know, the universe spirit, your spiritual connection is standing there, fingers crossed, supporting you while you're kind of having to face your limiting beliefs and your fears and your anxieties about what's coming next and it's kind of like more of a test of whether or not you're committed to yourself and um, the next phase of your life but I do it doesn't make it any less challenging I do feel like you guys are coming out of a pretty difficult period um, at least for whatever collective I'm speaking to right now current energy for Capricorn I have all four of my dogs in this tiny little room with me. It's my tiny little studio, um, just in case something does happen so I can round them up quickly. All right, current energy, you have a time for healing. Yeah, and then be bold and make the first move, and then you have surrender to the divine. Um, I like this for you right now, because I, I do feel like you guys, I feel like I'm speaking to a collective that's like been on a healing journey or maybe has, you know, kind of been forced to, um, be put on a healing journey in some way, shape, or form, maybe healing from a lot of things, healing from kind of this difficult period that you're maybe still kind of in the process of coming out of. You know, with the be bold and make the first move coupled with surrender to the divine, I think that sometimes it can be like, oh, that sounds contradictory. But I, I've really learned that when we take steps in faith, the universe will always be there to support us. It might not happen in the timeline that we expect or in the way that we expect, but as long as we're willing to show up for ourselves or for whatever it is, 
is that we're trying to create or wherever it is that we're trying to go, we can trust that the universe has our back even if we aren't fully feeling that in the moment. One of my favorite quotes has become recently um, a quote by a philosopher with the name of Joseph Campbell, which is take one step toward the gods and the gods will take 10 steps towards you. And, you know, I think a lot of times people are like, oh, the universe doesn't have my back and they wait for that proof that the universe has their back when in reality, in order to really understand that we are supported by something bigger than us, we have to be willing to take the steps in the faith of believing that. So being willing to step out of our comfort zone into new beginnings, into unfamiliar territory and really believe that we are going to be supported and guided um, in that process. And I feel like that's where you're at right now is like really believing that yes, you're closing out old cycles, you're stepping into new beginnings. It can feel really scary and overwhelming and there's so much uncertainty there, but I do feel like this is kind of this, this confirmation for you guys that no matter where it feels like things are at right now, I do feel like you are being very supported and guided um, through this period. Um, I think this is definitely one of those periods of transformation, um, one of those periods of kind of stepping into, I'm going to take this one, a new, um, a new beginning, a new phase uh, maybe just completely, like I said, like just new territory. And I think that that's like one of the scariest, but yet most amazing parts of being a human is yes, the unknown is really scary, but it's also where miracles happen. It's where our dreams live. It's where better experiences and realities live. And the more willing we are to face that unknown, the more that the universe will, um, well, let me actually say the more that we're willing to face that unknown and surrender to it, um, you know, I've really learned that the universe does always take care of a surrendered heart. So the more that we can let go, the more that we can trust, you know, do, do what you can, focus on what you can control, let go of the rest kind of thing. Um, and I feel like this is kind of spirit's way of saying we've got you. What does Capricorn need to know moving forward? Does Capricorn need to know moving forward? Prosperity lies ahead with meditate and contemplate. Interesting. Okay. Um, then you have a new romantic cycle begins. I feel like, yes, it's, it is a new moon in Libra card. So yes, it could have to do with your love life. But I, I also feel like a, rom a romantic cycle or like the meaning of that can expand so much further than just like our love life. I feel like it can expand into like our relationship with ourself and the reality that really reflects that new relationship with ourself, um, which is really about what healing um, is, right? Is It's about... Um, looking at the ways in which our reality reflects something within us and being willing to have the self-awareness and the willingness to face those things so that we can learn from them, grow from them, you know, evolve in ways that we need to. And I feel like I'm speaking to a collective that's doing that. And if you are doing that, you should be very proud of yourself. Change is so hard. And especially when it's something where it's like, maybe you even know that it's good change or um, maybe you're even resisting the change. I don't know. Either way, it's hard. New beginnings are really difficult and tough, but the more that you're kind of willing to face that, I feel like the, the higher level of prosperity that you can expect in your, in your world. Um, this meditate and contemplate card, I feel like is making sure that you are being very, um, discerning in your decision making like making sure you are very much checking in with yourself and with your spiritual connection when it comes to making decisions and it's like no rash I feel like it's like no rash decisions right now like don't make emotional decisions I think a lot of times you know we can get into really heightened emotional states whether it's fear excitement or whatever the case is and we can act really quickly and sometimes that might not always be the best course of action for us um you know and I think a lot of times actually when we act from a place of emotion we're actually acting from a place of old patterns because our emotions kind of tend to be wired to or our, our emotions usually are typically an insight into our how our brain is wired and if we're trying to rewire our brain and change our reality we don't want to react we want to make sure we're, we're responding to what's happening around us so taking time to think through your decisions to process everything before coming to this decision you don't need to have all the answers you don't need to be a hundred percent sure about everything right now in fact um, the more that you try to be that, the more you might actually feel very frustrated right now. But you need to know that stepping into this new beginning, there is prosperity there. I feel like you have a lot 
of good to expect as long as you are willing to surrender to um, this new beginning that I feel like you're being pushed into here. All right. Let's get an overall theme here for you, Capricorn. Overall theme of this reading. It is so dark outside right now. It's so eerie and creepy. <laughs> That's why my ring light might seem really bright right now. It's always on this setting, but usually because I face a window, so it's usually um, kind of coupled with the light from outside. But since it's dark out, it's like gold. I, I can see it just like glaring in my face. Okay, overall theme of this reading for Capricorn. Knowledge and protection with trust. Ooh, Capricorn, you've learned a lot. You have learned a lot, and especially in terms of an old cycle. You've learned a lot, and it's about taking what you've learned and applying it to your life. Um, if there's anything that I have learned, it's that we tend to learn things twice. We learn it up here, and then we take that knowledge and we act on it. So here's an example. Say that you're in a relationship and that you don't have to be. This is not, I'm not saying this is what's happening. I'm saying this is an example of what the energy I'm trying to portray. Say that you're in a relationship that doesn't really serve you. Through that relationship that doesn't really serve you, you learn that you are deserving of more than that. You learn that you are more lovable and deserving than you have been acting on in the past. And eventually you walk away from that person. And through that experience, again, you've taken on this knowledge, right? I am more deserving. I am more lovable. That experience taught me that. Well, knowledge is completely useless without action or without... Um, what is the word? Um, implementation. Knowledge is useless without implementation. If you learn something, but then you don't implement that knowledge and make actual changes to your behavior, you might end up back in old cycles, right? So this is about taking what you've learned and what you've grown from, that these old cycles that I feel like you've been really trying to break out of for a while, and using that knowledge to act from a completely different place, having trust in that outcome, and knowing that you are very protected. Because I definitely, definitely feel like that's the main kind of message that really needs to be heard by you guys out there, by you Capricorns out there, is knowing that you are so divinely protected through this period. Yes, it's scary. There's probably a lot that is, like I said, out of your control, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, you know, making sure that your, your, what, what did I, I, there's a quote that I saw jump pop, jumping around social media. And I was like, I really like that. It said healing is the result or the, the result of healing is making conscious decisions instead of repeating unconscious protective patterns, something like that. That was basically the gist, which, you know, sometimes we don't realize that the way that we're acting is a result of our wounding or our limiting beliefs. But then we learn through certain situations, right? Like I kind of mentioned, you know, we learn um, we're more lovable or more deserving or more capable than we, we've been believing. And now that we know that, we got to do something with that knowledge. You have to take that knowledge and you have to apply it to your life so that that knowledge becomes wisdom. So that it becomes something that, you know, you can take from up here down to that subconscious belief system. And that's really how we start to change our, our, um, our brain, how we start to rewire our, uh, our brain is, is we, we act from a different place, we experience different outcomes, and, and that starts to, you know, instead of saying, I need to sacrifice my needs and, or my, my value in order to make something work, we, we start to believe, okay, I don't have to do that. In fact, I can stand up for my value and I can stand up for my needs and that will always attract me the right things. And, you know... It's, it's a process, but that process is what honestly makes life have a purpose. You know, if we were just here to only experience the good and there was no growth and no evolution, there would be no point, right? We're here to learn. We're here to grow. Okay. Past energy for Capricorn. What has Capricorn been dealing with? Let's dive a little deeper into this story here. moon whoa seeing the moon hermit judgment and chariot in this past energy year okay seven of cups
Capricorn, this is pretty awesome energy. Okay, I feel like it, it, it might not have felt awesome, but here's what I'm kind of gathering from this, is I feel like something came to light or you finally saw something for what it was. There was like this truth of, you know, maybe you had been ignoring it. Maybe you had been seeing things through the lens of rose colored glasses. I don't know. But something was brought to light. You saw something for what it was. And although there was a lot of fear associated, I feel like you chose to make different decisions. Um, and I think that that is probably the most powerful thing that you can do in any situation is say, you know, I'm unhappy with how things are and I'm going to make a change, you know, because what we aren't changing we are choosing and I think that that can sometimes be a really truth filled statement and it, it can be really hard to face the truth of that because a lot of times we want things to change but we aren't really willing to make the changes necessary for things to change and then we get frustrated that things aren't changing even though we're doing the same stuff our behavior is the same if we want different outcomes we have to change our approach right we have to change our behavior and I feel like that's either what you did or what you've been pushed into doing because I feel like there were certain changes or a, one big change I don't know that really needed to happen but there was a lot of fear associated with it so there might have been some justification or which is totally natural and totally human we have all been there okay there's no shame blame or guilt that's that needs to come from this reading that's not my point here um but sometimes we do things that don't really align with us or our highest good because we're afraid of change naturally your brain your ego is wired for control it it hates change it literally the last thing that it wants is change it wants things to say exactly as they are even if you're unhappy, even if you're unfulfilled, and even if it's not what you desire, you're, the way your brain is wired, you will subconsciously, if you're not aware of it, choose what is familiar over what is possible. And we do that because we prefer, our ego prefers to be in spaces it can predict. It wants to know exactly how things are going to feel, exactly what the outcomes are going to be. So if we're not aware of it, that part of us will completely drive our decision making. And sometimes when the universe is pushing us out of situations and it feels like our life is falling apart or we're losing a lot of things, um, it's often actually the universe trying to push you into more and open up your world for better experiences but because of the fear associated with the newness and the change and the new beginning it's really scary it's overwhelming and sometimes it can be really really confusing because it's it's hard to make sense of it until you get to the other side of it so I feel like that's a lot of what this past energy was like. Maybe a lot of confusion, a lot of overwhelm, you know, starting, it's like slowly but surely starting to recognize um, a deeper truth or recognize a reality, a truth of a reality. Maybe, you know, kind of resisting it, avoiding it, but then recognizing it here and there. Yeah, things need to change, but I'm not ready yet. Yes, I know I need to walk away from this relationship, but I'm just, I'm having a hard time doing that right now. Like, and that's okay. You know, I have always learned that we will leave when we're ready or when we need to. We will walk away from old cycles when we're ready or when we're supposed to. And that's not, um, that shouldn't be a justification for saying, but a, a, for staying in places you don't belong or in places that aren't good for you. But it should certainly help you understand and give yourself grace that making change is really hard. And if you are in the process of doing that in your life, despite the fact that it's freaking scary, you need to know that you are doing you deserve all of the credit, okay? All the praise, all the credit because it is so hard to do. And I think that that's because you have the chariot with the hermit. It's almost like this this illumination of a path that is ahead of you that maybe you didn't even really realize was there because of where you were staying. Um, and I think that that's where you're kind of opening yourself up to like new experiences of prosperity that are maybe quite a bit different than what you're used to because the way that you're acting is different. You're showing up different. Therefore, the outcomes are going to be different. What does Capricorn need to know about their current energy? So where is Capricorn at right now? Page of Pentacles with the Eight of Pentacles. I like this. 
You've come too far to only come this far. That's what I'm hearing. It's like you're, you've been working really hard either on something new or to break out of something old. Sometimes that can be kind of one and the same. And I think that maybe, maybe even that's working on yourself. I mean, King of Pentacles there, um, whether you're male or female, I feel like this is definitely you. But then there's the Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay, okay. It's emotional. We're getting a little bit emotional. This is definitely that energy of like the closer you come to closing out a cycle, the closer you come um, to starting a new cycle, the harder things seem. Now, this is what I've always wanted to make so clear is that we don't actually close out old cycles whenever we walk away from something we're pushed out of an experience. We fully close that cycle when we choose not to go back to it. When we choose to not make the decisions that got us into that cycle in the first place. And when we get to the end of like really closing that out or be right before something good happens in our life, we are going to feel so drawn back to old experiences, back to old cycles, back to old people. And the reason for that is you start to feel a little bit hopeless because the, the positive changes you were hoping that were going to come from, you know, stepping out of your comfort zone or working really hard to start something new, those haven't happened yet. And so then you start to get in your head and you start to go, well, maybe I gave up, oh, maybe I should go back. Like maybe I gave up on that too soon. Maybe I should have given it another chance. Maybe I should have just kind of stayed and maybe it was better then. Maybe I had more then than I do now. And, and you start to almost look again at, at it through rose colored glasses and you start to think maybe things were better then. And, and that's where you have to remember that you made the change or the change happened for a reason and you have come too far to go backwards. And although you're going to feel very drawn backwards, I feel like it's really important right now that you keep moving forward. Keep moving forward and I feel like you're going to see that there is more prosperity in new action than there is in old behavior. And I think that that's where your commitment, if you will, is kind of being tested through this experience is it's not, again, it's not like a test, okay? It's more so, it's more so um, you are in the process of evolving, of breaking out of old patterns, old ways of doing things, old beliefs, old cycles, and stepping into new beginnings. You are in the most important part of that evolution process, which is, are you going to choose to go back to old things or are you going to choose to step into this new beginning and allow the unknown to unfold and have faith that it's going to turn out better than you can even expect? Your ego, your ego is going to go, I want to go backwards. Your soul is craving more. Your soul is craving new beginnings, new experiences, new prosperity. So that's where, and we talked about this with this uh, meditate and contemplate card. That's where I feel like being very discerning with your decision, not making emotional decisions, okay? Um, I've learned that I have a tendency or I through my journey, I learned that I have a tendency or had a tendency because it's gotten a lot better to be very, very impulsive. And what I mean by that is when I'm angry, I act on that anger. When I'm sad, I act on that sadness. When I'm feeling a certain emotion, especially at the height of that emotion, I have this, this feel or this um, draw to do something to try to fix the emotion or to make a life decision based on that emotion. And as I've been through my healing journey and my growth journey, I've learned that that is literally the absolute worst thing that we can do. It doesn't mean ignore your emotions and it doesn't mean ignore what you feel like doing in the height of those emotions. It means don't make any decisions until you feel grounded and clear. Because a lot of times when we make decisions coming from heightened emotion, especially fear-driven ones, we have a tendency to self-sabotage. And that's where we have to really learn. This is going back to kind of that quote about healing. We have to learn to make conscious decisions as opposed to repeating unconscious protective patterns. Now, this is where you have to add grace to it because your protective patterns have kept you alive. You've done a lot of the things that you've done in the past because you felt that that was the best thing for you. So I'm not saying shame and blame yourself for the decisions that you have made, but you've learned from those, right? You've grown from them. You know better now. Take that knowledge, apply it to your life, and I feel like things are gonna be like better than you can even imagine. I mean, I think that if you're willing to really use this as a period of showing up for, like show up for the version of you that you know you can become. Show up for the life that you, you know, you really dream of having right now, even before it starts to happen for you. I mean, that's manifestation. That's how you create it. So what does Capricorn need to know moving forward? It's one foot in front of the other heading forward. Now, if you do go backward, 
that's okay. Okay, it's not a life or death situation. You will always have the opportunity and the option to start again. Okay, that, that will never disappear. What is meant for you will never, ever pass you. So this isn't me saying if you don't do this, you know, you're never going to be happy. Okay, because that's not what I'm saying. But you might miss an opportunity to create a little bit sooner. All right, what does Capricorn need to know moving forward? These poor dogs are so confused. I had to, like, because in our house we don't, like, for those of you who don't know, if you have a tor if there's a tornado coming through, there's a tornado warning and you take shelter and you don't have, like, an actual tornado shelter, which we don't, you need to get to, like, the innermost part of your house so that, like, that, I mean, that's going to be, like, the sturdiest, right? Um, well, we have like a long hallway and rooms on all sides and then like our living room. We don't really have that big of a house and our innermost is like this tiny teeny, um, closet. And I literally had to throw my 75 pound German Shepherd and our 60 pound lab in this teeny tiny closet. And they were like, what are you doing to us? And I'm literally like, I'm trying to save your life. It was so stressful guys. And Anyway, for those of you who live in tornado areas, I freaking feel for you. Or really anywhere that gets, you know, I know there, there were those hurricanes for you guys on the East Coast. And I just, it's hard. It's hard out here. All right. What else? You have the lovers. You have the hangman. With the six of cups in reverse. Okay. So you have an option. You have an opportunity here, Capricorn. The lovers is this, this energy of what aligns with your worth, what aligns with your deservingness, what aligns with your highest good. And then I like that the empress is on the bottom, but I didn't necessarily come out. Then you have the three of swords in reverse, the six of cups in reverse. Okay, so here's like, it's like the option. It's either act from a place of healing or repeat old patterns because the six of cups in reverse, a lot of people think that that means the past is coming back. I often actually very much take this card as not, you don't want to go back to the past. The past is not, a lot of times we think that if the past unfolded differently that we would be happier or healthier or wealthier or whatever the case is. And a lot of times what we don't realize is that the way that things unfolded is actually to get us to better spaces, right? Your happiness and the things that you desire does not exist in the past. If you go back to the past, the outcomes will be the same. However, that doesn't mean that you're going to miss out on the opportunity to ever be happy, okay? You will always have the opportunity to create new. So you, you really do, it feels like you're kind of being given this option of like, going back to the past or going back to something similar to the past or choosing to believe you're deserving of more, even if that means facing the opposite of what you desire. Sometimes, you know, we are presented, you know, say you left a relationship that didn't serve you, you know, you meet someone new and this person reminds you so much of that past relationship and you choose to be in it because you would rather be in that relationship than be alone, right? That is repeating an old cycle, even if it's with a different person. The choosing to believe you're deserving of more would say, I would rather be alone than repeat old patterns. I'm going to step into this new beginning of making new decisions. I'm going to set stronger boundaries. I'm going to make healthier relationship choices. And I'm going to believe that there is something better out, out there for me than you know what the past held. Um, that's just an example. I'm not saying that's what you're going through. But that's really what this period of your life is about is are you going to go backwards? Or are you going to choose to believe that there is better for you out there? And spoiler alert, there is better for you out there. But I can believe that for you all day long. It's not going to matter unless you truly believe that for yourself. And sometimes it's about acting on that belief before you even really believe it. It's about saying, because that's what faith is all about. That's what leaps of faith is all about. It's not, you know, it would, it's not leap of certainty, right? It's not, um, you know, having and knowing how things are going to turn out. So making the decision based on that, it's faith. And faith is about, you know, believing in something without proof of its existence, right? And so that's where creating the life that you do truly desire it lies is in your ability to have faith that it exists. And I think that that sounds really simple, right? And I mean, I think in theory it is, but um, in practice, it's not so easy because you're not just facing, you know, one or two limiting beliefs. You're facing a lifetime of how you've come to understand survival and what that requires of you. And believing that more is possible for you is the first step in creating it. But it's not just like, I'm not, you know, you can't just be like, 
believe it and you're like, okay, cool. Like I believe it now. Like it, it is a conscious decision to continue to show up in that belief before it's something that um, you really internalize. So I feel like you have a lot to look forward to as long as you are willing to choose to believe it exists. Okay. I know that that's, that's hard, um, but okay. We're going to hop on over to the extended. The extended is focusing on what you need to do right now to move forward in alignment with your higher self. So this is what you need to know. Extended is what you need to do. Any information for that is in the description box below. Thank you so much, Capricorn, as always, for your support of my channel. I do obviously hope that this reading helped and resonated for you in a way that you were needing today. And as always, I wish you nothing but love and healing and all of the wonderful things that you deserve and desire on your journey moving forward. All right, bye, Capricorn.